The Title 17 U.S.C. Section 107, the allowance is made for fair use for purpose such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing nonprofit educational or personal use tips, the balance in favor of fair use. Good morning, good afternoon, and good night, depending on where you're tuning in from and at what time you're tuning in. This is your girl Lex, and welcome to my page. Please take this time to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you're notified whenever I post a video. Hey y'all, how y'all doing today? YouTube, YouTube. So, Melody came to Instagram with a few little stories and I think it was little said, but a lot said at the same time. I was watching my girl chit chat with QT this morning and she had played a clip of Coleslaw talking big mess. It sounded like she was on an interview. I'm not sure who was interviewing her, but she was talking about how Mel was so slow and Martel was the brains. And mm -hmm. she called her and told her that her husband was, you know, doing all types of explicit stuff, which just shows who you are. Because why are you calling anyone to tell them that if you want to stop dealing with him, then stop dealing with him. You don't have to call the wife. Like, she's trying to justify it. But anyways, I digress. I digress. Her One of her posts says character. And that's very important because it literally shows what type of person she is. The way she maneuvers. The way she moves. The things she do. Like... It's all about character and you want people to feel bad and to empathize and to sympathize with you and to do all of this stuff. But yet your character says otherwise. So character is a key role. And guess what? On the opposite side of that, when you uphold your character and you are a stand up person, you will have people backing you. You will have your corner set like people aren't going to fold on you or turn away from you because they know who you are so that was one thing another thing you guys ever been around pastors or people in the church and you'll hear them say some this verse where it says the tongue is sharper than any two-edged sword and in proverbs 12 and 18 it says the words of the reckless pierce like swords but the tongue of the wise bring healing. So baby, she was living by that sword, running that big old mouth she got, and now she's dying by it. Now it's all falling apart in front of her, on top of her, everything like that. Because you had so much to say, you knew what you was talking about. Or at least you thought you did. Look at you now. Martel's the brain, she's just the face. Um, but yet Martel is broke and Mel's back on her feet after the divorce. So who exactly was the brains? Listen, you got to watch what you say because none of that aged well. So this post right here, imagine what the enemy thought would take you out, doesn't take you out. Woo, big man, but God is bigger. And that's right. They thought they was going to tear her down. They thought she was going to be done. Or at least Coleslaw did because Martel knows. He knew the truth. And that's why he was so mad because he would always say, you didn't protect me. Because he was so focused on mm -hmm. letting everyone believe the hype that he was the the brains. Or at least part of the brain. You know what I'm saying? Like he wanted at least part of it. And she protected him throughout the whole marriage. Never let the cat out the bag. But he knew. But he knew. There's no way you ain't, you didn't come up with anything. So he knew he wasn't the brains, but yet, mm, wanna run his mouth to her, Coleslaw, as if he was the brains of the operation. You, huh? And you, you just as dumb over here believing it and regurgitating it. And now look at you. Now look at y'all. Y'all cohesively look like idiots. 
Yeah, I see a lot of simps lately who have been saying this. Why is everyone so mad at Martell? Why is everyone bashing Martell? Martell isn't the first one to cheat. And you're absolutely right. He ain't the first and he won't be the last. But last I checked, accountability is a thing, okay? So, you know, that narrative that you're, you're spewing out is the exact narrative that, that encourages that narcissistic behavior. It keeps these people thinking it's okay for them to do these things because there's always someone like, oh, don't bash them. No, hold them accountable. They wanted to do what they did and it's not no mistake because you you make a mistake, you only do it once. You don't do it for years. Like, come on. So, it wasn't no mistake. He chose to make the choices that he made and we're holding him accountable. That's it. But anyways, Mel is continuing to put her seed in good soil. She's pushing forward. She's making money. She's making moves. And she's being that money-making Mel that we know her to be and always have known her to be. Meanwhile, you have other people eating their words and choking on it. All that big mess he was talking about so certainly. And even with Tasha K, she was spewing nonsense talking about, oh, I know she's broke. Oh, I know. I know she ain't got it. I know this. I know that. Look at her now. Listen. <laughs> you reap what you sow. And look at Ari right now reaping all of it. All her words are thrown back in her face. The man that she was speaking so highly of and everything else. Don't even say her name. He refers to her as the mother of his child. And the on only other names he gave her was peasant and 15%. So, again, you spoke so highly of a man. And now you want to backtrack. But that's what happens when you deal with narcissists. They will allow you to uplift them and to speak highly of them. And then they dog you out. And you have to sit there like, uh, yeah. Well, anyways, please don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to stay in the know. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.